Surprise, bitch. But you thought you'd seen the last of me. <laughs> my mom stop watching because i'm talking about your gifts in this video so please leave love you bye hello everyone i am starting my vlog incognito with my sunglasses and my mask on i just parked at target i was just about to get out of the car and i figured i would start to vlog this week because it is vlogmas i guess i don't need to have this fully on i like i said i'm not gonna be vlogging every single day but i think i'm gonna stick to weekly vlogmas vlogs so vlogging here and there when i feel like it throughout the week and then compiling it to a weekly vlog so you're still like uploading regularly throughout my december but yes today is monday november 30th so vlogmas begins this week i just parked at target because a week from today is actually my mom's birthday and i haven't been with my mom on her birthday like since high school because I've always had to be either in school or at work on that day. So it's very exciting that I actually get to spend my mom's birthday with her again this year. So right now my mission, if I choose to accept it and I already have, is we've been looking, I probably look ridiculous with this bandana and mask on my chin. We've been looking for this one specific air fryer for a long period of time. It's been our mission. I've been trying to get my mom to get an air fryer for a long time because you guys know. It's my heart and soul. I love my air fryer. She saw this one, this particular one on QVC and she thought it was perfect because it's an air fryer, toaster, like an eight in one kind of thing and it flips up. And the whole reason she hasn't gotten an air fryer because she has a lack of counter space. And so this one that flips up takes up significantly less space when you're not using it and it's easy to clean and stuff. But the problem is it's extremely in high demand and sold out everywhere. So we tried every website, we tried, we were looking for like Black Friday deals on it and they were having a sale at Target where it was like 169 and I think it's normally 220. And it said there was few in stock at this store in Target here in Bend. And so we came the other day and it wasn't there and they said, oh, we actually have some on the truck, so call back and we can try and get it for you and we tried and they just, it was just impossible to track down. So it didn't pan out. But I'm trying again today because I'm determined. I think she's kind of given up, but I'm determined for her birthday to try and find her one. I figure it won't be as crazy today because it's Monday and people are back at work, but I don't know. And I'm not sure that I'm gonna find it. Um, you also can't order online from Target or order pickup. Like you have to come to the store. It just says limited stock. I'm gonna do my best and see what I can find. And if I don't find it, oh well, I'll continue my search elsewhere. But um, I just wanted to check today. Happy Monday mask on let's do this i got this spray hand sanitizer from bath and body works and i love this it is not super harsh alcohol smelling it's really nice to have a spray it's antibacterial hand spray and champagne toast champagne toast is one of my favorite non i mean i guess they do market it as like a new year's kind of scent but you just spray a few pumps on your hands and spread it around and it smells so nice and it's actually a good hand sanitizer so i keep this in my car and i use it before and after i go anywhere i don't know something about it and it like dries clean and i don't know i just really like it so i thought i'd share oh my god you guys wait i think i found it i think this is it i'm shocked i was so expecting it to be empty oh my god my mom's gonna be so thrilled or maybe this is an extra large one. Oh, i think this might be the large one and not the flip up no wait this says flips up in a way and this one doesn't flip up in a way that's the extra large one this is the one we want flips up and away does not this has to be it it's not the best sale price now it was like 169 i think now it's 199 but better than retail so let's do it would you look at that perfect i was so prepared to fail honestly i wasn't expecting to find it but i'm so excited um hopefully my mom will be thrilled i guess i should probably sneak it in somewhere maybe i could sneak it somewhere in the garage because she doesn't really look around there much it's the ninja foodie eight and one flip up air fryer if anyone's wondering it's a very cool device it does a lot of things they actually had a lot there so maybe they just restocked them this morning because we checked a couple times they called them that was like the main errand i wanted to do i expected to be kind of running around to a few places and calling them but i'm done so cool but i will talk to you guys later i just go about a good place to hide this gift in the garage um our garage is like very fun. this is like a bunch of christmas decoration stuff that they pulled out of the attic but there's very few places 
to hide something. Well, I guess I could even stick it back here and like find something to cover it. The box is actually kind of bigger than I thought, but I can still just put it on the ground here. Okay, my dad used to use these things for transporting photographs. So, let's just tuck it on all sides. Seems discreet enough. <laughs> Success. It is the next day. I don't think I vlogged anything after uh, I picked up the gift from my mom, but I am jade rolling my face now. I've had a nice relaxing morning. That's kind of been my morning routine. I like read or journal, write, whatever, um, in the morning with my coffee. Jade roll my face. I've been extra puffy because I've been about to start my period, but jade roller to the rescue. But. Um, I've also like the last few days just felt very down and like feeling sorry for myself almost and this always happens like right before my period. I always know it's coming because I'll have this like negative thought spiral and just I don't know but I'm feeling much better today. I'm much more excited about things and new podcast episode went up this morning. Today's December 1st so it's technically the first day of Vlogmas. So I'm gonna watch some other people's vlogs. Anyway, I think I've rolled everything out of my face, but I'll show you guys the new book I'm reading. I don't know why I've been like in a country music mood this morning, but I mentioned in my last vlog that I was reading Winging It by Emma Isaacs, and that's kind of like self-helpy, more of a non-fiction, you know, motivational book. And I was reading that for a while and I just like wasn't in the mood at that moment. So I wanted to read something like fictional and fun. So I have this book that I downloaded from a wait list on the library that I forgot about. It is called November 9th by Colleen Hoover. It's actually a really cute concept. It's like these two, well, they're 18 year olds, this boy and a girl meet, like crazy hit it off, but she's moving to New York the next day from California. And so they're like, we're not gonna pretend to have a relationship like we just met, uh, but how about we meet up every year on November 9th and like catch up, see how we're both doing in our own goals because they want to like pursue their own careers and everything. And I don't know, it's kind of a cool concept. The beginning was like kind of cheesy, but right now I'm on the part where they're meeting for the first time a year later. I'll pick up winging it again later, but it's like one of those books you don't need to read consecutively. So when I'm in the mood for it, I'll read different chapters of it, but I'm reading this fiction book, which is just fun. And after that, I'm gonna read, it's called In Holidays. So that's gonna be my next one. And then I'll just go back to winging it when I feel like it. Our podcast that went up this morning is about like our favorite things, current favorites, and gift ideas. So I'm not really the kind of person that makes gift guide videos, uh, but we did talk about some of those things in this episode. So if you guys are looking for some ideas or just some favorites, book recommendations and such, check out this podcast episode. For some reason I decided to get ready today. I don't know what has gone into me. I normally don't get ready for no reason. The last time I got ready was on Thanksgiving. I'm also like more productive when I get ready anyway, even if I'm staying home. So I'm just putting on makeup and we'll probably put on some sort of outfit that's not my childhood sweatshirt. But I also moved this full length mirror. It was in the bathroom back there. But the lighting in there is just not good. And I liked having it in front of the mirror so that I could have natural light. And it's so nice just to sit in front of it. So something I am embarking on this week that I decided late last night when I couldn't sleep. Anyway, sorry, I just got an email from government OPM, which is like the government's hiring service, US staffing. Let's see, it's probably rejected. That says your application was not referred to the hiring agency because uh, there are other applicants who must be considered before you, such as federal employees that were displaced, certain veterans, etc. which is fine. Um, you know, when you get like rejections from, sorry, I feel like my entire channel is now just becoming me complaining about rejection, but that's a part of the process. When you get an email of rejection of something that you forgot you applied to and you don't even care about and you're like, oh, another, oh, I just got an interview for a different thing though. Oh, this is exciting. Wait, I don't know why everyone's emailing out these things today. This is different than the one that I kind of mentioned before. 45 minute interview via Skype available. Oh, that is soon. That's the day after tomorrow. Yeah, that's kind of like the state of affairs in my life right now. It's just like 
I'm throwing so many things at the wall that I don't even remember that I do and then things come back and then I don't know but you know we are figuring it out I don't remember if this one's in New York or DC oh it must be New York because it's a UN policy one okay I'm sorry I was not expecting to get that email while I was sitting here both of those but what what was I talking about oh yeah I am embarking on a new challenge I was thinking about doing another Chloe Ting challenge but I have done that before and obviously I love her workouts but I don't really feel like doing that every single day for two weeks and I kind of want to just challenge myself with something new so yesterday something inspired me I was just like I feel like running like I just want to get my energy out and by running I mean jogging half the time and walking half the time but I did that. I'm not a runner at all like I I don't do it and I know everyone says that but I like mean it <laughs> but I want to challenge myself and just do it more and just like push myself to get more stamina I think what I'm gonna do is last night when I couldn't sleep at 1 30 a.m I downloaded the c to 5k app it's like couch to 5k and it's like a training program to get you trained for to be able to run a 5k so um I'm not sure that I'll actually get to 5k status wow I can't believe this one just came back I applied that so long ago okay sorry um I think I'm going to try that for the month of December I think the couch to 5k program might actually be more than a month it starts off very slow for people who don't exercise or aren't used to it at all there's great trails around here and it's such a nice way to get outside and like get some fresh air while exercising and especially like it's not because it's so cold now I feel like running in the cold isn't bad because you warm up so quick and it's not the same as like doing burpees on your frosted deck you know what I mean maybe I will do it for three days and be over it we'll see I'm not like holding myself to this maybe I should make a video about it though that would be an interesting because that's a good way to hold myself accountable and then I can track like the entire process but I definitely just want to start the program and just see how it goes I don't know I'm just like feeling inspired and excited to do a bunch of different things so we are going to look to the future and work on other endeavors and not feel sorry for ourselves i saw this post on instagram that i shared on my story if you don't follow me you should follow me at christy vetter it was like just what i needed to hear right now i think like i think so many of us struggle this year with feeling stagnant anyway so this post is signs you're actually making progress in life even if you don't feel like you are i might as well just read them out loud uh, not word for word but first one you've lost relationships it's not that you lose them because you're not worthy of them we lose them because we're mismatched to them and that's usually a good indicator that we've grown changed and we need to realign with people who understand who we're becoming not just who we've been i think that is so so key to realign with people who understand who we're becoming not just who we've been Ugh, that is so good next one you're doubting your next step if you're not doubting your next move at all it probably isn't the right one to make if you don't feel any apprehension it means you don't really care you're not really putting anything on the line and you're not taking much of a leap too many people stay stuck because they're afraid of the initial jolt of fear but it ultimately means they never learn to spread their wings and they never arrive anywhere new yes i agree with that this is a good one that like I didn't think of you're slowing down rather than rapid intense acceleration you're interested in mindful intentional decision making instead of trying to push through all your body signals that you're doing too much growth is when we slow down and start to listen to what we've been trying to say all along in this stillness and rest we often find answers we didn't know we were looking for you're starting to care more about how you feel as opposed to what other people think I'm not gonna explain that but I think that's a good one you're aware of what's wrong even if you don't know what would make it right Real change is almost always catalyzed not by a feeling of inspiration, but a feeling of discontent. Before you know what's right, you'll know what's wrong. The truth is that most people don't ever find the courage to ask the hard questions, and so they never give themselves the opportunity to find the life-changing answers. Anyway, I just really, really liked this post, and I thought I would share it. I don't know, like, I don't want to just sit here and be like, yeah, I just read this thing, and it was really inspiring, and this is what I'm going to do next. I want to actually share these things and, like, have conversations about it. Hopefully... You guys needed to hear one of those things because i definitely did i've just been feeling very reflective which is my goal of this time and thinking about all the things that like this year especially we've all had to kind of redefine our notion of progress and our notion of what is you know advancing in life and success and all these things when we don't have those traditional benchmarkers necessarily right now trying to reevaluate how i'm you know judging myself and holding myself to these standards um that aren't realistic for the time anyway this became a lot longer of a rant than i was expecting maybe i will just make instead of a whole week vlog i could probably do a couple days after i get ready um i'm gonna respond to this interview request and then i was about to 
apply to another job work with the podcast stuff also speaking of the podcast my stickers that i ordered finally arrived at the mailbox last night and i'm gonna go pick those up and we will check them out together and see how they turned out and also i'm getting an exciting package of snacks to try uh not sponsored but we'll probably try them with you guys and maybe with my parents if they want to try my dad is actually getting cataract surgery as we speak right now my mom took him to get it he's getting one eye and then the next eye like in a couple weeks or something maybe this snack will make him feel better after his surgery okay i'm gonna get ready and finish watching some vlogs and i will catch you guys later hello everyone we just got exciting mail paul is in the house opening boxes with me got my hello fresh which i'm doing a video with them but it'll probably be the next one but let's see what we got okay mom my mom was just like i've always wanted to try this <laughs> she's sitting through my videos crispy parmesan chicken with couscous and lemony carrots tex-mex beef and poblano enchiladas yeah so look ideas? at that or well these are the actual recipes like it comes with all the stuff and you make these this is what it came with yes that's in the box oh. that's how it works then it shows you all the ingredients on the side see that nice and then it shows you how to do it on the back the other one is barbecue pork burgers oh, kyla will love that oh i've never had this one that looks so good though yeah. this is a hall of fame one it looks like so it must be one of their most popular ones look how bomb that looks okay yeah we're gonna have to cool. try these out soon i'm gonna unpack these and put them in the fridge oh it comes with a drink citrus and green tea i feel like dad would like this with caffeine and electrolytes it's very cold feel it wow <laughs> Okay, so it comes, each meal is in the bag. It sounds like I'm doing a sponsorship right now, but I'm just explaining it to my mother. Barbecue pork burger. Yum. Also, we got another package that I'm gonna open with you. I actually want you to try this with me because it's called Safe and Fair, and it's like one of these, you know, top eight allergen-free kind of things. Oh, cool. And that's where I got my granola that I showed you. I don't know what this box is for all my, my nail. Okay. Hello. Oh, Oops. it's upside down. <laughs> Mom's filming right now. All right, you we better We have a um, pirate dad over here. He just oh. had cataract surgery. We're gonna open this box. Why is my battery dying? It was just charging. I saw they have the most delicious, like, treat popcorn I've ever had in my life. And they came out with a chocolate peppermint flavor for the Christmas season, holiday mm. season. So I ordered some. And I obviously, since I was making an order, had to get like a lot of stuff because I wanted free shipping and that's how it goes, you know? Got a few bags of popcorn and some granola, so let's see. But I want you to taste test this with me. Birthday cake popcorn, because it's really yummy. Mm -hmm. yes. so we're, we're gonna flavor. try. And then I got, okay, I guess I just got a big thing of popcorn. Birthday cake. I got a big bag of the granola, the birthday cake granola. What chocolate popcorn? I literally got five bags of popcorn. Dark guys. chocolate drizzle, ooh. I know. Thank you. No, but this is what we're about to try. Oh. Chocolatey Ooh. candy cane drizzle Oh popcorn. my gosh, you got two bags? Too. I did because I was like, got the whole I know family. it's gonna be good. Everybody's like it's gonna want them. And it's gluten free. Yeah, I know everyone's gonna love this. Gluten free, nut free, dairy free, kosher, vegan, blah blah blah. Well, actually, Wait, here. you don't. I know. Dad always gets mad at me for the way I open bags. Okay, we're gonna cut the top yes. clean off. Smell it first. Wait, I want to try it at the same time. Ooh. Smell it. Uh huh. Okay, mm -hmm. let's hear see your thoughts. I have to have more. Did you try it already? Mm -hmm. I haven't tasted it yet. Okay. Well, I know it's gonna be good, but yum. Yum. That's your thoughts. <laughs> Very elaborate. Okay. Nice. It's not overly sweet. Mmm. It is. It's very light. Yeah. Compared to, I think the birthday cake is like way more hardcore, but this is good. It's mm -hmm. lightly drizzled. It's really, it has lightly a real nice minty. aftertaste mm -hmm. to it too. Now I want to get your reaction to the birthday cake one too. You can sit and eat the whole bag. I know, that's the peppermint mocha. She's already mixing it with her coffee. Okay, so now you have to try the birthday cake flavor. One drink of coffee. That's how you live your life, people. Um, it might be too sweet for you. I don't know. Drizzled popcorn. Yes. It's like dessert. Oh, careful. He's throwing it all over the place. Maybe I'm hyping it up too much, but I don't think I am. No, it's good. Uh-huh. That's like, yeah. barely any popcorn you ever had good. 
These are really great. I know. And they're gluten free and all yeah. that. So this is Safe and Fair is the brand. They have like baking mixes. Really? I should really be a brand correspondent for them because I'm obsessed look. with them. Apple crisp stuff or scissors. Yeah. Oh, no. oh yes. Oh, that's ripped on the side, I think. Yeah. Okay. Zip like this. That zip lock. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Anyway, so I get your reaction to these really good, delicious treats. But these way, you always get me hooked on something new. I know. I'm here. Last time it was this. God, this is just such a treat thing. But these I got from Thrive Market when I was here last. The Unreal bars, and then my parents started buying them at Costco, and now Three I have a giant <laughs> thing. But then she also got me hooked on the. Caramel rice cake. Oh yeah, I do love and a good so, rice cake. Of course, I've been, you know, branching out to apple cinnamon and. Oh, you tried the other flavors too. Yeah, the apple I've only tried chocolate. Really good. Yeah, look at this. Three percent of proceeds go to the allergy and asthma research at Stanford. Isn't that cool? Cool. So people like me can get research. The world needs to understand us better, you know. Oh really? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so we already have a lot of chocolate, but. Oh my god. Yay! Sweets for the sweet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, I'm in my car now. I wanted to run a couple errands. I need to get gas, so I just stopped by the gas station, filled up the tank, good stuff. These, are Yeah, it's been a productive day, feeling good, good things happening. Scheduled my interview that I mentioned. I did some work on some other application stuff. I have one that I want to apply to that's not like a hard deadline, but I still want to get it done as soon as possible, but I need to finish it up still, so I'll probably go home and do that. And I got to unbox stuff with my mom, and after that, she helped me get content. She helped me get a picture for my um, Lily's collaboration that I'm doing on Instagram. Got that done. That kind of took a while because we had to play around with different spots and showcasing the product and everything. To getting gas and then I'm gonna go pick up what I got in the mail that's at the mailbox that didn't get dropped off at our door. It's my fingers crossed stickers that I ordered. Sorry, I think this is overexposed now. My fingers crossed stickers came. So really amped. Sierra got hers the other day and she sent me pictures of them. And I think they're glossy instead of matte, which is kind of different for like laptop stickers but we'll see when I pick them up myself I didn't get the don't undervalue me one because that was actually a last minute edition so I ordered these two before we added that one to the collection so if you don't know what I'm talking about fingers crossed pod.com slash shop we just released merch this past week and um, a couple of things were stickers and we hadn't seen them in person yet so we both ordered some I think what Sierra is doing is she's using magnet backing and making them into fridge magnets because they didn't offer magnets the company that we used so we just did stickers um but I think that's a good idea and I might try and do that myself and put them on my fridge back in New York when I get home just an update of what this day has been honestly I feel like I've gotten a lot of footage and I've really been in the mood to vlog that's kind of my whole premise of wanting to you know, set expectations that I wasn't going to be vlogging every day because I really just haven't been in the mood lately um, and I didn't want to force it. I just didn't want to put expectations and pressure on myself. Um, but we're gonna do what we're gonna do and maybe it'll be four vlogs and maybe it'll be 12. I don't know. I'm also wearing this sweater that I got from Newly. I realized that I showed all my Newly stuff on Instagram, but I wasn't vlogging so I didn't show it in the video and I usually do that. But um, this sweater is super cute. It's like this cropped cable knit red cardigan and it's really cozy and I took my picture in it because it's very holiday looking and I wanted to get a red sweater for the holiday season, even if I'm not if I'm just staying home. But catch you on the flip. <laughs> Look at the mountains. I think I got the smallest one. Oh, it's so cute. If you can kind of see it when the light catches it, they're glossy. But I thought they were going to be matte, like uh, Redbubble stickers. They're not from Redbubble, but I don't know. I kind of like the glossiness. It's kind of fun. Fingers crossed in pink with a little black outline. Um, it is connected at some points, but then there's like gaps between them too. They're outlined at the bubble when you take it off of the backing, if you can see the outline. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. I'm not really a laptop sticker person. The logo sticker, so cute. I'm obsessed with it. It is four by four this size, so three by three, four by four. And the design kind of got messed up. And so the line here is a little wonky. On hers, it was like connected, this little dot. It detected something outside of the design. This one, since it's smaller, I think you can just peel up and it won't pick up that little dot. So well, I'll try and fix the design so future ones don't do this. Luckily, it's easy to just kind of like 
cut it right off and it'll be fine but but i don't know why it's doing that so that's a bummer but i'll have to go figure it out because it did not look like that when i uploaded it as the manga my spotify wrapped came out i'm honestly kind of scared because like what have i done this year 582 new artists this year wow that is crazy at least that many one song helps you get through it all are you in the middle of that? yep top artist of the year dude of course Wow, actually this is hard between these four, but I'm gonna go with Drake because it's always, always Drake. Or Taylor Swift, honestly, this year. <gasps> oh my god. This is the first year that I've gotten something other than Drake. This is honestly shocking. This is like the same as every year. <laughs> Thanks for spending all 67 months of 2020 with us. Oh, that's